want. I don't believe that there is any reason to do that with respect to people coming from Louisiana today, unlike was the case a couple of months ago. Governor Edward. Governor Edwards addressing questions about policies in Florida that restrict visitors from Louisiana. The governor encouraging Louisianians not to travel anytime soon, but says to remain cautious as many people, people are getting ready for a long weekend. And with so many COVID-19 restrictions still in place, will this weekend look any different for those looking to get away? Well, Florida beaches are, of course, a popular spot, not just this weekend, but in the coming weeks and months and tonight. Many are asking, can Louisianians book and enjoy a Florida beach vacation? Our Chris Welty is getting answers tonight. Half of the beach is Louisiana people. Tara Falk is from Erath and is visiting Pensacola Beach. She says people are social distancing and police are out patrolling. They're not questioning anyone. They're not asking where you're from. They're just, you know, mainly pertaining to the social distancing. According to VisitFlorida.com, the governor's executive order mandates anyone from Louisiana and three other states to self-quarantine for 14 days or the duration of their trip, whichever is shorter. There are roadside checkpoints as you enter the Sunshine State. We'll all get through this together, but uh, the best cure is vitamin D, right? But not everyone is able to make the trip. You know, I'm a healthcare worker. We've been dealing with this inside the hospital, outside the hospital. My only sanctuary is home, but I was wanting my sanctuary to be a beach in Florida <laughs> for at least a week. Lauren Smith had her upcoming trip to Grayton Beach, Florida, booked for a year. Been in contact with the rental company throughout the process of you know, the coronavirus, and, and uh, they've reassured us this whole process that everything's going to be fine. Thursday, Grayton Coastal Rentals canceled Smith's nearly $4,000 reservation. In a copy of the rental contract, the company says, quote, GCR does not refund for guest cancellations. Smith says ultimately the agency canceled her trip, so she should be entitled to a refund. I had travel insurance that didn't cover COVID-19. Nothing does. <laughs> um, and, and so right now we're, I'm just kind of going back and forth with them, just trying to get a refund uh, and not really getting anywhere. They don't answer my calls any longer. If you're calling for Grayton Coast Rentals, please leave us a message. We also reached out to Grayton Coastal Rentals, but they have not returned our multiple phone calls. In Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. Well, as part of Phase 1 reopening, Florida's governor asked every local county to put together a plan to deal with short-term rentals like condos and beach houses. Rental agencies are asked not to allow guests from hot spots, which Louisiana is included, for the next 45 days. We did reach out to the popular Sandestin Golf and Beach Resort. They're obeying the governor's order, but in Fort Walton County, we talked to the Hampton Inn and they say guests from Louisiana are allowed and they do not have to self quarantine. Those caught violating the governor's order could face fines or even jail time. Because of the pandemic, there will